Welcome to the Five Point series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we're picking up on the 9th of June 1993. In the last part, the focus was very much on trying to get this farm operational. We're still against a bit of a deadline here with respect to our silo here because we really do need this silo finished by, I think it's about the 17th of July. And the other area we're working on very much so is up here because we've now got the beginnings of our plastic industry here, but we do need more workforce up here, although we are producing a fair amount of plastic and we do need to start. Actually, I'm just going to speed the game up so that we can keep make, making a lot of progress. And what I've done so far for getting the plastic delivered is we're going to put plastic into here so that we've got a guaranteed supply to our repair station. And this is where we've got to start working on the distribution of our ability to repair. Now, one thing I do want to do is start expanding this town here because we're going to need a lot more workforce because what I'm thinking is get some electronics com um, manufacture here electronic well electrical components because we've got the plastic we've got the chemicals we just need the steel produces a little bit of pollution but i think we could possibly get some electronics down going down in this area to make this into a little bit more of a kind of a um, industrial area although we are a little bit close to there we might have to possibly build it out down about here but I'll, I'll come back to that because we've got a few other things that need doing uh, I have got quite a lot of chemicals being produced here and at the moment we don't have any real way of kind of doing anything with them but of course chemicals is the first step in the process of producing electro, electro components and electronics uh, the other thing that we're currently working on is up around this area, well not around this area, is the, well, uh, we have also built a orphanage over here. And I did get a comment about saying orphanages are a problem, and they are a problem because once you start building orphanages, you, you're kind of hooked, lumbered with them permanently. And you can see this one's already filling up quite quickly. And the problem is if you start building port, um, orphanages and then you don't keep them properly staffed and supplied, you start breeding criminals, which then increases your crime rate. Looks like we've still got problems here. Rivals in orphanage, minus 35%. But on the positive side, it's a very good way to keep, to keep your um, loyalty high. And that actually alleviates some of the problems, especially at the harder levels, with respect to losing efficiency. I think I've also started to solve some of my problems up in this area with respect to the, uh, how can you say, with respect to unemployment. And the other thing we were working on is down here. Well, I'll still be getting through a lot of steel, but that's okay like this is being repaired <laughs> right so what I, what do I want to do in this part well one I'd like to start putting together an electronics industry the other thing is we need that farm finished uh, I think I've got another beginnings of a growing problem out here again with respect to our incinerator because our, well, I don't know that's not too bad and these are filling up quite well and of course the other thing at the moment is we are importing crops which is causing a little bit of a traffic jam here I mean I could import crops into here but I can't see the point now lot the next stage we can say the development of this economy is this direction and this is where I want to start moving the focus uh, over this way and I, I think originally I started building this military camp, but I'm not totally convinced because I'm a bit concerned about this. And underneath we've got this sewage pipe. And I think what I am going to do is I'm actually going to uh, 
break this and put in something else. Uh, I mean, we've got hydroelectricity here as well, which is because a lot of this was originally planned to be an independent town. I don't really think I I don't know. Maybe a hydro plant there would be a little bit because it would avoid having to run power cables out of this. So maybe that's a starter, but it's a, again, it's a bit close to the town. But I am not happy with this. So we are going to... Actually, I've just had a bit of a thought. If I can move this over... Not a sewage... Sewage discharge. If I, move the, now if I can move the discharge all the way over to here. That gets it a long distance away from town. Now, the question is, is could I be a bit clumsy? Wow. <laughs> it's a very clumsy solution, but it would work. And so if we do that. Actually, I just had a thought. We got chemicals now, haven't we? Let me just... The alternative is we just abandon this output and redo it. Um, um, wow, that's too way too big. Um, I'm just wondering if I can... Because this needs chemicals. Um, That's the input. I just wonder if I can get this really. The input's that side, that's the output. And then if, if I can sort this out without resorting to. I am going to put both pipes in, both output pipes like that. At least one, three for possibly another plant. And I could be completely stupid by... No, I didn't think that would be it. Uh, I think what I am going to do is shift, demolish you, and go there. I'm not sure my demolition team will come all the way out here, but we'll give it a go. Because we've got uh, these guys here. Go underground. See if you can get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is clean this area up. And then we can, and what we're going to do is build a proper town from the get go. Um, in this area and what that will do is allow us to run into this area here where we've got coal mine and uh, steel mill up over there so we're going to start producing steel in this area and the reason another reason for doing this is that i want to push uh, the road out there i'm a little bit worried about what's going on here what is of course Okay, we've got okay we've got a major food problem again i don't understand what's up with this building i i thought i'd put a dedicated oh 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 i know what's going on <laughs> we're out of food aren't we uh yeah um right we we got a problem guys uh there's not much i can do about it so we're going to lose population uh, this is what I was worried about. Um, we're not producing enough food. So we are going to get a population collapse. Uh, hopefully uh, the harvest is just about to start. I'm just going to power through. Uh, do we have any food up here? Uh, how's the food supplies here? 
we've got a little bit of food here so the food shortage is in this area this could cause a bit of a catastrophic failure uh, uh, <laughs> yeah my emergency relief didn't really work that well did it okay um, yeah we're, we're on a downward spiral this is how quickly things can turn around in this game <laughs> uh, right there's nothing I can do we've got to kind of just let it ride because uh, it's in realistic mode I can't buy anything in or anything like that so this is now finished uh, what we do need is I need a distribution office up here ASAP uh, I did say I was going to be using the these but uh, the trouble is where can I get fit this in it's uh, we can put it about there right one go there how's the population we're losing a hundred population already that means we're yeah we've lost all our over 21s okay we may have a disaster here food is always one of the big um failures it's one of the things that can really tear your economy apart and once it starts happening there's not a lot you can do about it i think we've got food up here at the moment but we're just about to, food's just about to run out up here as well okay uh <laughs> Uh, as he goes with a nervous laugh years and years of work and it's just come down to the fact that I didn't pick up on that crop shortage quick enough uh, how are we going yeah we're, we're losing traffic jam where's the traffic jam This is a something's been repaired here. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is, uh, well, there's not much we can do about it, so let's just carry on planning. Up here, um, I think what I'd like to do is get more some more workers in here. So that may seem a bit of a contradiction in terms, but and because we're in 1993, what I'm going to be doing is focusing a little bit more on the the type of apartment blocks that are available in the base game uh, don't never never really like these um actually these these look quasi modern so i think if we get one but got two Right across there and then can I get a footpath down the back here yeah I'd like wow didn't expect that to have get that in is that connected I oh, will soon find out uh, one, two, build that, build that, build that, build. I think I was quick out the blocks. Right, where the population is going. Right, we're now on the 17th of July. And what I want is this allocated it's allocated this has to be high priority okay um is the harvest started hey we're on the 19th of july game you're kidding me
20th of July. Right, we've got harvest flowing in here. Um, That should start to get some crops into here. Right, we started to get crops into here. Ideally, what I need is crops into here as well. Nothing in here at all at the moment. Um, you guys. Uh, right, what we're going to have to do is we need to get those crops going as fast as possible but we haven't lost that much population at the moment but uh, it won't be long uh, is happiness though now yeah this is the place that's losing out most and we are starting to lose population we've got 225 people that have got no food and of course that's going to give us a bit of an implosion um, actually there is a truck running around here which I could have used let me just see um, you Uh, we could think for uh, purposes of getting things sorted. Pick food up. Remove you. Remove you. up food okay. <clears throat> what that guy should do is get extra food into this area right this is finally starting to kick off and we We're up and running. How are we doing? So, um, yeah, I think this area they had food, which meant that um, we've saved this area. We need to save this area, which is far, nearly is just as important. We're down to 23. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. We really need this built. ASAP. Right, back up to here. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, these guys are going to run out of food as well. Uh, and we keep going. And we can be optimistic. Um, because of course cannot store or export plastics what are you doing you're sending plastics to there um, I think what we will do is we've got repair bays over here yeah it's not telling me I've got problems I know I've got problems I've got bad problems One point five tons of plastic. Right, I'm gonna put you onto there. Plastic one hundred percent. So 
equivalent of 0 0.6 tons of plastic. Uh, we've got what we got here. 0. Point, yeah. So we, we're over the top with plastic at the moment here, but that's okay because what we're doing is is just ensuring that we can kind of import more and more plastic to this area and to keep our repair systems going. What have you got here? Yeah, so we can add you to here as well. And you can Okay, we'll just make it a hundred percent. And of course, the other place we need plastic is here. Is it plastic? Do we need plastic for electronics? I can't remember now. No, it's just electro components. That's good. Oh, oh yeah, we've got one more repair bay that needs plastic as well. Which is... I've lost the plastic thingy bobby thingy. We will need to set a proper distribution up here. This was a bit of a bodge fix anyway. And we'll get plastic into this repair shitty facey thing. Um, put plastic onto here. Yeah, stop telling me happiness is low. I and where that my population is on downward spiral. Right. So we got that there. Right, that's getting ahead of the curve. Yeah, now using some food. Now the problem now is that the distribution system isn't built to keep up with the demand because what happens oh we've got food into here now which is good but what tends to happen is that because you've got people wanting food they consume it quicker therefore because they consume it quicker it takes more time for the the overall system to go right we've got food coming into here now some goods are missing we've got electronics missing not exactly sure who's delivering electronics here. Um, we need the electronics into this area as well. Uh, electronics, where are you picking up electronics from? Right, you're picking up electronics from here. And then you're distributing out. You've got some electronics in here. There must be somebody bringing electronics into here because I'm using this as a central distribution center. So who is importing? Okay, there's nobody there. I can't be totally dependent on this. So who's actually importing electronics? Okay, let me just see. Uh, food and clothes. Right, so where are you taking the electronics? Corner market, five points corner market. Where are you? Okay. Uh, for some reason, I think you've been left off. No. Uh, oh. Ah. I think this is the one. Yeah. I think you're the one. No, nope, this is five points. Don't you have... Let me just find where we're going. Did I accidentally remove... Did I accidentally, for some reason, remove this from the distribution network? Looks like it. Yep. OK. 
Okay, electronics. Okay, hopefully that will get the electronics flowing. I think we've managed to avert the food crisis. The problem now is our falling happiness. Uh, death of a child, rival in prison, lack of meat, starving. Well, how many people are starving? 263. Now the consequence for that is that we might get... Oh, we're still holding up, okay. <laughs> okay, um, I think we might have got away with it. While we're here, I just want to check my rail construction yard. Okay. It looks very much like the track is now finished over here. Um, let me just do that I, what I want to do is do these bits I want to do these two bits before we electrify that way so I want you doing those two bits because these are the tracks that um, can be a bit problematic so I want those done let that run and then what we'll do is start here so many things to do shift right so we got anything here okay we got that needs electrified anything here that needs to be electrified and then what we're gonna have to do is Electrified those bits. I don't want to go any further because if I do that, it will go. Citizens happiness is too low. Yep, thank you, game. It's the electronics now that's. There's 12 people need to visit hospital. Yeah, we got looks like we got lots of people waiting for treatment now. <laughs> uh, for some reason, that's not maximum. We need to get that up to maximum as well. That's a bit of a mistake. I think maybe I need to just make sure that everything in this area is for our maximum staffing. Okay. How are we doing? Right. Just gonna got plenty of money, so uh, covered holes. Come here, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be quite key, so uh, we're gonna get plenty of people into there. What actually, seeing we're dealing with disasters, uh, how's the fuel situation going at the moment? Oops, no. Um, um. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. That's good. I mean, for what we're doing, I mean, the, the problem's going to... Oh, no, we've got 120% from here. Um, what I do need to do is... That, is that... Let's, let's make sure that's connected. connected um, okay these guys are going around here pick up crops so we're gonna have to start a plat campaign of uh, kind of uh, upgrading these roads of course these guys have got no gas station here so they're wandering off everywhere um, up crops I think for the moment 
I want to put you on the drop off. for the moment and your job is to keep this at 100 percent i think considering the dependence here i want to be able to keep the maximum number of crops flowing into here and then the two farms over here can supply the crops coming into there um, the other thing i just noticed is that what i really need up here is a gas station uh, let's see, can we get a gas station in here? Maybe we could tuck one in just here. Let's get you, you in about there. Get that built. That should top up this. Um, that should get plenty more crops yeah so this is now I think we're gonna have to seriously think about the uh, what we call it um, some food production as well <laughs> let's have a look so we didn't lose any population there most of the population lost has been over on that other town um, I think what probably saved us was the fact that we had quite a lot of uh, um, over 21s okay what on earth is going on here oh this is this uh, um, this is waste treatment I do feel, I think I really feel that maybe I need a dump here. Uh, let's see if we can, it'd be nice if I could put one of these in. Um, I've got a feeling that won't connect, but we'll give it a go. No, the, the terrain lifted um let's have a look at the terrain yeah we got a bit of a little bit of a bump there i don't think it's actually going to smooth it might smooth a little bit right i think what we're gonna have to do is put a smaller dump in here i don't really want to do this but i think i feel that we do need it Where's the... Put something like that. Going where I just have to... Um, where... Get these in here. Yeah, I think part of the problem here is that the waste builds up in here and what happens is is that the actual pickup trucks come in here which then affects the nature of where this is and then that actually causes problems. Uh, I do wonder if we've got chemicals. Let me just see... And these guys are busy this is the problem uh, right we've got I'm just gonna get a couple of covered holes into here um, and then I think you can then distribute the uh, the chemicals to the hazard dump yeah I think that will work right the other thing also is not export oil um, that, I guess that that's down to the fact that this is not being built
we need this being put together so many things to do so many things to do this is what keeps you alert with this game um, get here you working on those that's good are you working on the pipe over here because you might be out of range now yeah I think this is now out of range that's there And of course, what we're getting, how much, how much you all, uh, okay, we've got oil up here. The only thing is we're not, don't have the oil really here or, okay, that's a potential problem. Wow. We've nearly got a single line all the way to here. That's pretty awesome. I think the problem we got is that um, I don't think you guys are really getting a benefit from here these guys are actually oh these are just shipping fuel backwards and forwards aren't they okay um yeah these trucks are just going backwards and forwards i think what we will do is change this to wait until loaded for this line in fact wait until loaded yep and uh, there's no point in them running backwards and forwards they can all queue up here they're the only place where the oil is going so what are you oh yeah you're a crane that's good yeah we i think if they can pull the, the oil off from here to here because once they start loading, they will divert the oil that's flowing, some of the oil that's flowing up to here. We need more capacity. But there's not much I can do about that at the moment. Let me just check here. Yeah, we've got plenty of plastic in there now. So what that should do is stop our plastic imports now. Or the plastic imports should drop uh, quite dramatically now. Not that I think we were importing that much anyway. Okay. Uh, how are we doing here? Happiness is improving again. Um, yeah, I think we're building back up again. We got away with that square. Sca not square, scare. Oh... It's almost I feel almost like I need another farm but um, I think if we we're not burning we're not using crops in biofuel now so this would be the first year that we're not actually using the biofuel plant here wait where are you from Wait, remove you. I don't want you shipping crops into here. Maybe that's why I thought I there wasn't anyone now um, delivering crops here. Uh, there shouldn't be anyone at all. It also there's related vehicles here. Where are you coming from? Medium log. Where are you from? Um. Oh, 
going to follow this guy because he's coming from the distribution of his bugs. For some reason, I can't hook him. So we're just going to follow him and see where he's actually going. Oh, this is the one. It's this one here. Right, at the moment, this one's picking up from there. It's going... It's dropping off to here. And it's... Where is this? Oh, this is going to the clothes. Ah. Okay. All right, so this is sending the crops to here. All right, which is our clothes production as well. So we've still got a potential problem, but I think I can work through it. Anyway, uh, I'm aware that time is also pushing on. Um, I think what I want to do now is just work on a electro electro components industry here. Uh, electro components factory. We need plastics and chemicals, so we're in the right place for that. Um, wondering we got we got sewage out here and we got water there i'm just wondering if we put say we put the chemical in uh, co electro components here maybe tuck it out probably the electro components really needs um i think I can put it they got one thank you game no power here though is there and there's there's water over here but there's no sewage yeah we got water power well we can power's not a problem because we can we got water connection there um I push this out to about there. Right, we can put a road connection to there. That's oh yeah, this is something I had I didn't mention at the intro. The game refused to um, demolish this little section of pipe here. I think the reason was is because it wasn't actually connected into there. So rather than mess around, what I did was is I just put a new water um, distribution thingy. I'm still not convinced. Is that actually in range? Um, what I could do is actually flag you for demolition. So that that so it won't be misleading um, what's the sewage tank the substation See, that's, it says that's not in range but I'm pretty sure it was in range um, okay, one, well, what's one way to test is grocery store Oh no, we're picking up water from that side. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> right, so we've now got potential for electronics industry here. Um, we need steel, we need chemicals. What's the storage, output storage for this? Export seven tons of electro components. It does produce hazardous waste, which is something else we're going to need to consider. Um, just trying to think. Uh, how much steel does this consume? It's two tons of steel per. Right. Um, I don't really want to put. A sp 
we could put a small open hole here. In terms, I don't like the um, the out the out layer here would be a bit of a problem. Okay, um, we're going to go to mods storage. Um, open hole. I'm just going to do a little bit of a clutch here. We're just going to put. Yeah, this is the road junction. So if I, although it's a bit close to there, but there's nothing I can do about it. But what I can do is just bring in that like that. Oh, you can do it, game. Then we can bring down you to there. Go there. There. So that will be the still import. And then. We got. Wow. <laughs> That's. Um. Right, we can get a warehouse here. This will store 120 tons of crops there. And then, so we got the warehouse here. We got this road connection that goes out to there. And then, roads. Never. Cargo office for and get that that way. And what we'll do is we'll put this cargo station about there. Though we'll probably will need to bring out power, but uh, we can sort that out later on. Um, and what we can do is get electronics industry going here. And then that, and probably more, most importantly, that can then feed to our rail, rail electrification program. Right, just to wind up, uh, just go back to here as you were. Put the happiness, happiness please. Happiness wise, were good in that area. Um, this is. Uh, a little bit shaky this is down to 69 percent but it should be building back up again we just need uh, a little bit more incentive there uh, has we affected loyalty 77 loyalty's held up very well here it's uh, a little bit more of a difficult problem because it dropped obviously quite a long way plus i think there's people moving in new residents because our growth rate this is 54 percent yep so it looks like we got problems with the pub but that's probably understandable because the pub's probably run out of alcohol yeah no alcohol to sell um who is delivering the alcohol here i don't see any delivery um, doesn't make sense. Got pubs here, but we got no alcohol here. Right, who is delivering your alcohol? Um, yeah. Of course, again, we run out of alcohol. This is the problem. When you when you get a, a shortage, it's getting the problem is getting the supplies back in again uh, right 30 pub 2 I think what we will do is what we got here K these carry five tons I think what we'll do is we'll buy some more covered holes uh, 
And these are KMZ 5330s. Uh, speed at uh, 5320s. It's these. Uh, I get I get three more of those as well. So I think this is my key alcohol distribution network. So uh, get that going. That fix, should fix that problem. Actually, we got any surplus alcohol flowing into here at the moment? Not much, but. Again, the prop part of the problem at the moment is the fact that uh, these don't really have the capacity to make up shortfalls. Um, well, I think we've, we've averted the food crisis. <laughs> Hopefully. I think what I will do is, if this is empty, um, we'll stop people coming into here. Because I don't, because uh, we don't. There's no point having a workforce in there. Um, so we've got a small amount of oil flowing from here into here, which is keeping this going, and then eventually we will get the oil being brought down from here right one final check on our railway and then that will be it I'm afraid oh um. yeah this is creeping up again one of the problems is it's very quick you when you're playing at the higher levels it's very easy to lose happiness it takes a long time to get it back again. Right. Where are you building? So, uh, still working on this area here. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>